Sugar is like religion. Stevia is like God. <laughs> I'll explain. My name is Shannon Marie. It's October 13th, 2018, and it's 1242 right now in the afternoon. I had a realization yesterday, and I, I have a really interesting perspective of life. I look at things through a really interesting lens. So I, I use stevia, or stevia, however you pronounce it, in my tea. I drink tea every morning, and I'm actually having a cup right now. And yesterday when I was making my tea, I had this realization. It was like a little light bulb went off. And I am always thinking of ways, I'm a spiritual teacher, and I'm always thinking of ways to explain certain concepts, certain spiritual concepts or concepts about life. How to explain these things in a different way, in a unique way for people to understand these dynamic concepts in a very simple way, in a very digestible way. So as I was putting these little drops of stevia into my tea yesterday, I realized something and I'll share it with you. So this, and I use the liquid kind, and it's super concentrated. This stuff is extremely sweet. All you need for a cup is like four drops maybe, and it makes a sweet cup of tea. I like mine really sweet, so I use about six drops for a cup this size. Um, for my big tumbler, I'll use a little bit more. But look, this little drop, okay, that is so sweet. And I used to use honey or even agave. I used to use that in my tea every morning, but I decided to switch over to, to stevia and I like that. I really like it. Um, the other sugars, the other sweeteners can mess up um, your glycemic level, your blood sugar level. It'll shoot up really high and then it, you'll crash. I just wanna try to stay at a, at a balanced state in all aspects of who I am physical, mental, emotional, and physical, and spiritual. I think I said all that. Um, so I switched over to Stevia, and it's, it's, you have to get used to it. It's a little bit, it's a very sweet taste, but it tastes a little bit different than agave and honey and sugar. It has just, um, it's just a different, it's a different taste. It's kind of an acquired taste if you are, especially if you're used to just eating white sugar in your food or in your meals or in your tea. So I the beginning of this video I said religion is like sugar and stevia and god is like stevia or stevia is like god. And yesterday it just cuz god in heaven and my higher self constantly talks to me and guides me through my life and teaches me things and helps me gain a better, deeper, more dynamic understanding of myself and the world that I live in, that we all collectively live in. And we all, we all choose different things. We all have the free will to make different choices in terms of basically everything in our lives for the most part. And we, depending on the choices that we make, um, directly determines the quality of our life and the, the different aspects of our daily lives and our overall lives. So when you use sugar, pure white sugar, refined sugar, in your tea, in your coffee, in the foods that you eat, then that stuff is not good for you. It's very harmful to your body. And it's important for you to know that if you are constantly consuming white refined sugars. And stevia is something that is made naturally. There's a leaf and this liquid is made from a leaf. It's a naturally occurring item that mother nature provides for us. And 
when you choose that something natural and it's actually helpful to your body to your physical body it's helpful to your teeth and just that in maintaining a healthy natural state of your body it's just so much better for you and it's more nutrient dense it's it's allowing your body to thrive versus be in a state of lower vibration so that was just a little something that in my mind i think that was gifted to me that whole concept of choosing a religion can sometimes be harmful just as a white refined sugar can be it tastes good and it looks good and it's packaged up really nice but at the core of it it could be harmful to you and maybe religion is amazing for you and um i was a little bit hesitant to share this because i have family and friends that are very religious um and it's working for them but personally in my spiritual journey over the last i would say eight nine years i have found that religion can be very harmful and even detrimental to people to, to the masses because at the core of most religions there is truth but there's been so much done to water down and alter in negative ways the things that people know to be as truths but when you go back to nature and keep it simple as i was comparing god to stevia in a sense just go straight to the natural source of who you are your creator when you seek guidance and when you seek support in this life spiritual support seek god call out god you don't need and 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 i love jesus i love jesus jesus is one of my best friends in fact jesus is not someone that i really even acknowledged before i had my spiritual awakening until he came to me and spoke to me and our relationship has gotten much more strong and beautiful because it's been conscious on my end and so jesus is real and you can absolutely call on jesus and there are different ascended masters and angels that are all there and and ready and willing to help us in this life but when you want just there are just so many things that have, it's things have been convoluted and there are things that have gotten confused and not everything is how it seems so when you call upon an ascended master or an angel you have to have the spiritual discernment to understand that when they show up to you that that's who that actually is so if you want to avoid all of that go straight to god prime creator god of 100 percent light please bring to me who i need in this moment to help me bring the ascended master bring the angels surround me with who i need spiritually right now to assist me in accomplishing what i want to accomplish today so refined sugar and stevia a natural element that mother nature provides ver versus a man-made harmful substance that we con constantly and worldwide bring into our body every day so i'm just inviting you to have a perspective shift and shift your actions to provide a better more sustainable way of living for you and a better happier healthier existence for you so hope that helped you understand and i love you bye